Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another FIFA 17 player review. Let's take a look at someone from this week's Team of the Week. That is the inform Julian Draxler, the German player who has recently signed for Paris Saint-Germain, is now 86 rated. He's also a position change. He's now a left-sided player as opposed to his regular default central attacking midfielder. Uh, something to bear in mind. 80 pace, 83 shooting, 85 passing, and 89 dribbling. Six foot two. Four-star skill moves and a nice five-star weak foot. Interested to see how that gets on with us today. Now, moving into a couple of different squads that I tried him out in. This was one that I used in a daily knockout tournament, whereby you could only feature players from Ligue 1 and the Serie A. And then I mostly used him in this 4-3-2-1 side at left forward. Um, players from the Bundesliga, the Turkish League, the Premier League. And, of course, that French league there. Um, really making quite a nice and interesting squad with the man of the match, Podolski, up front too. So, looking at Draxler's in-game stats then, some of them look really good. A couple of the stats look a little bit, eh, you know, not so great. Stamina, strength, I see there, not too amazing. Uh, of course, these stats can be boosted if you use the basic chemistry style and play them on full chemistry. Uh, I went with the engine one. That's been my favorite chemistry style lately, simply because it does boost the agility and balance of a player uh, and as you can see with Draxler it brings him up to nearly 90 in both stats which is uh, very very usable it also increases his dribbling and his passing as he's a left-sided player some of the time I'm going to want him to thread that ball through to my main striker so having better passing is always a good thing um, moving on to the pros and cons for the German Firstly, like I sort of mentioned earlier, his stamina, it was in the 70s, and that's not great. From around the 75th minute, I found that uh, Draxler was tired. He, he definitely lost some of that pace that he's got, and which is a problem for sure. The second one is that he sort of goes missing. You'll notice that I think I scored two hat-tricks, which means six of my eight goals that in total I scored with him were in two games. We played like nine games or something with this guy, uh, so he sometimes went missing for a few games in a row, which is definitely worrying. And then his position change. It might be down to that position change that he goes a bit missing. The regular, per the regular Draxler, should I say, is a cam, which is great. He gets so involved. He's incredible in that position. You know, someone who's central with a five-star weak foot means he can bang them in from all over the place. Whereas out on that left side, I don't think he quite had the pace that we needed um, to be a full out-and-out -out winger. And we almost tried to play him as a forward, playing him in that left forward in a 4-3-2-1. Uh, and again, he didn't necessarily suit this style too well. But as you'll see, the goals that we do score with him are quite nice and actually very interesting. So... He was a fun player overall, I would say. The first good thing I noticed about him is that his ball control and dribbling are superb. He really takes that first touch well, and he's got the ability to do the, the skill moves and stuff like that. He's got the four-star skill moves, he's got five-star weak foot, and LTRT dribbling, no-touch dribbling with Draxler is, um, yeah, it's fun. It's really good, actually. He, he's very, very good on the ball. He's also got great vision, and is a decent team player because... You know, normally he's set as a cam, and this time he's out on the wing. So he's kind of, he's not your out-and-out -out goal scorer, that's for sure. He's going to have to offer stuff to your team as well. Uh, and he does that really well. He's got great passing ability, and i that was one of the things I definitely really noticed and really liked about this informed version of Draxler. The uh, next thing you notice is that his height and his strength are both relatively decent. I mentioned earlier that his strength stat didn't look too good. But actually, I think bec partly because of his height, being six foot two is useful. His LT holding off the defenders was actually really good. I was more impressed and surprised about that after seeing his strength stat was quite low in game. That really did impress me. Next up is long shots. You're seeing goals go in from all over the place here. He really can belt them in. And that's what I mean about it. It'd be so much better if he was a cam, in my opinion. Um, I didn't mind too much seeing him as a left forward because I know you can get him involved quite a bit. But like I said, Cam is where it's at for Drax. So that would be ideally where you want him positioned on this game to get the most out of him. Finally then, his skills and weak foot combo. That's great. It's one of my favorite parts about him. Being able to do those four-star skill moves, you'll see in some of the goals that we actually did utilize that. Uh, he, he really is good at those chops and spins and turns. It's very useful, especially when you're out on that wing. Uh, and then his five-star weak foot is perfect. I absolutely adore players with five-star weak foot. Knowing that I can comfortably shoot on either foot is the best thing, especially when you know a player like Draxler can really bang them in. 
So definitely a mixed review here on Draxler. Sometimes for me he was great. Sometimes he was silent and just overly quiet and didn't really get involved. So I'd be interested to know what your guys' opinions of him are if you've managed to pick him up or tested him out in foot draft. So let me know down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.